guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at flip columns for maximum number of equal rows problem which is from lead code number 1072 let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given m by n binary matrix that means you have all the values either 0 or 1 named as matrix you can choose any number of columns in the matrix and flip every cell in that column that means changing the value from 0 to 1 or vice versa we need to return the maximum number of rows that have all values equal after some number of flips okay now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case uh, we are given let's say a 3 by 3 matrix and our goal is to find the maximum number of rows having equal values and we can flip any number of columns so let's say that we are given this uh, matrix and we flip column number 2 we will end up with this given matrix here because this 0 1 0 will become 1 0 1 in this case the row number 2 and row number 3 are both equal rows equal rows means all the values in that row should be equal we are not comparing one row with the other okay so this matrix is having two equal rows right but if i had followed certain other combination of flips like let's say i would have flipped column 1 and after that i would have flipped for column 2 or you can go in the other way around as well then i will end up with the matrix where row number 2 and again row number 3 are equal rows so here two rows are equal so in these two combinations and in any possible combination that you create you will not find more than two equal rows and therefore two is the answer in this problem now if you are trying to solve this problem then uh, a simple approach could be to just flip one column like flip all the elements so make this 0 as 1 this 0 as 1 and this 1 as 0 and after that you traverse through the entire matrix and find out what all rows have equal values and after doing this again you flip everything in column number 2 and after flipping this you again traverse this entire matrix of size m by n to find out how many rows are equal now so we have to try after flipping every column how many columns do you have n columns and what is the size of the matrix m into n so the time complexity of this simple approach will be n square m right i hope this is clear now let's look at some observation so that uh, we will be able to make an optimal solution now let's look at this first example in this case i can choose easily to flip column number zero and column number one uh, to make triple zero and triple zero they both are equal rows right again we are not comparing the two different rows okay all the values in the rows are same so this is saying answer will be two because definitely we have maximum two rows if you take the second example then you will see that i can again flip column one column two to make it all ones in the first row so this is an equal row and all the ones in the second uh, second row as well so this is also an equal row but we could have also uh, tried to flip column two directly and it will make all zeros so this is also equal and all zeros this is also equal right so the answer in this case is two the same column two flips could have been applied in example one as well if you look at example three then you have double zero one 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 zero right in this case what kind of flip will you apply if you apply let's say column zero column one flip then you will end up with one 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 and zero 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 so yes they both are equal rows so they are contributing two right and even if you go with flipping column two then you will get all the zeros in the first row and all the ones in the second row and still they are equal rows right so the contribution is to max max number of rows which are equal are two and therefore the answer is two if you look at the fourth example here you have double one zero and double zero one right if you flip simply the second column you get all ones and all zeros right it is basically the same example as the previous one even you can flip column one column two together and uh, you will see that the first row will have all zero second row will have all ones now if you look at a similarity between these four examples then the first example and second example had the first row as one one zero and the and and as zero zero one how are they related if you compare them then wherever the bit was set in the first number the bit is unset in the second number and wherever the bit is unset in the first number the bit is set in the second number right so these kind of numbers can always be made as equal rows if you try to flip either all the set bits in the in the first row or all the unset bits in the first row so if you 
flip all the set bits in the first row because we are doing column flips right so this will become one this will become one as well and this will become zero and zero so the first uh, row is becoming an equal row second row will also together become an equal row now if i give you an example for this zero zero one with one one zero then you see that wherever the bits are unset in the first row the bits are set in the second row and wherever it is set in the first row it is unset in the second row right so these two are relative string and that is why if you try to flip all the unset bits in the first row then the second row will also become an equal row or you choose to flip all the set bits in the first row so that everything becomes unset then the relative string will also become equal row okay you can just see that now let's see the third example in this case 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 are not relative string because if a bit is set in in the first row it is not set at the same position in the uh, second row as well right so they cannot be made equal rows together it is not possible so what you can do is you can just flip let's say column number two and make all zeros in the first row and you can make zero one zero in the second row so only one row is matching therefore the answer in this case is one similarly if you look at this example here one one zero zero one one are not relative uh, numbers because if the bit is set in the first one and the end is unset in the uh, second row then the same is not applied for all the columns okay if you look at second column it is set but it should have been unset here right but it is set so they are not relative numbers and that is why if you try to flip all the unset bits it will become one 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 and here it will not match it will be zero one zero you can try out all combinations and the answer in this case will be one so the concept which which we uh, understood here is uh, comparing two numbers based on if they are relatively equal numbers what do i mean by that so the definition is already written that if first bit is same then the entire number should be same like if this one is matching with this one in two different numbers if the first bit is one and one in both then all the rest of the bit will be same at the corresponding positions then only you can say that they are relatively equal numbers now if you look at the second case where the first bit is one and thus and the first bit of the second number is zero in this case they are inverted so they must be inverted for every number they are we are seeing so if we are seeing a one here we should have seen a zero but instead we are having a one that means they are not relatively equal number if you look at the third example if you see here the first bit is one and here you have a zero that means an inversion should happen for every position if you look at the second position we have a zero and we are having a one at that position in b fine again a zero one so this is a relatively equal string so whenever actually the first bit is matching then all the bits should match and if the first bit is not matching then it should not match for any of the columns okay so only the relatively equal numbers will become equal rows at the same time if you try to convert this 110 and 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 another 110 into equal rows then you can just flip all the set bit columns or all the unset bit columns like let's say i i try to flip all the unset bit columns so this will become 111 and the another uh, row will also become 111 so they will become equal at the same time if you look at the third example where i have 100 and 011 uh, if they are relatively equal numbers then they will become equal rows at the same time if i try to flip all the unset bits at the same time or all the set bits at the same time so let's flip all the unset bits at the same time you will become 111 the first row and the second row will become 000 so they both are equal rows right but if you look at the second example where i have 111 and 011 they are not relatively equal numbers therefore if i try to flip all the set bits in the first row it it will become equal row definitely it was already an equal row so you can say that 000 will be the equal row but then the same will not happen for the second number that means it will become 100 so it is becoming a non equal row it is remaining to be non equal right so the concept here is if two numbers are relatively equal then they will be uh, made as equal row by certain combination of operation like either you convert all the set bits together you flip them or you flip all the unset bits right so let's uh, take an example relative ordering of the row decides which rows will have the same values after the flips 
so let's say we we are given a 4 by 4 matrix four rows and four columns now in this case find out which rows have the same relative ordering you find it out so if you if you check it out the row number 0 and row number 1 are relatively ordered they are relatively the same because if the first bit is not matching then they are not matching for any positions now right so they are relatively ordered and in this case you can make all the unset bits as set by flipping column number 0 column number 1 and they both will become equal row isn't it now if you look at this row number 2 it is not relatively equal to either r0 or r1 right and uh, if you look at this r3 as well it is not relatively equal to any of the previous rows r0 r1 r2 right so in that case this will be uh, becoming equal row at the same time so these two rows are contributing two to the count but if you try to make this r2 an equal row then none of the other rows will become equal together with r2 because they are not relatively the same so this will be contributing one count and if you force r3 to become an equal row which it is already is then this will be the only row which will become equal no other rows will be equal okay let's say if if there was another row with all zeros then if there was another row with all zero then definitely all ones and all zeros are relatively ordered because the first bit position are not the same so they are matching nowhere right so definitely they are relatively ordered and even if you had another uh, row with all ones all ones is also relatively ordered because the first bit is matching so everything should match after that isn't it so this is the entire concept of relative ordering i hope it is clear so let's look at a dry run in this case uh, i will be converting each of the row into a relative string and finding out how many such strings have happened this is the idea so let's see for the first row i will always assume the starting column that means column number zero of any row to be starting with one let's let's assume that so even if i if i have a zero i will take one what is the idea behind it because it does not matter if you have 0, 0, 001 or 110 they are the same relative ordering right relatively equal numbers so that is why i will start with one so when i see the same number next time i will append a one to it and if i see a different number i will flip the bit okay so this is my a uh, string one my string for row number zero this is what we have created right so if you are still thinking why did we choose the first bit to be actually starting with one it actually makes all the relative string become equal because what if your number uh, a was 001 and b was 110 with this rule that the first bit will always be one then what you can do is the second bit being same i will append a one the third bit being same i will append uh, i mean it is different so i will append a zero and for the uh, second one the first bit i will always be assumed as one ac according to this right so the second bit being same it will be one and the third bit being different it will be zero so what i'm trying to do is i'm normalizing the relative numbers and making them become equals to a same number isn't it so if i assume that we are always starting with one then two relative string will always end up with the same same string or the same number okay now looking at this r1 the string 2 we will be uh, seeing that the first number will be assumed to be 1 now all these are same so you will be appending all one ones right now for this r2 the first number is 1 okay we are assuming 1 whatever is the number and then the second number being same it will be 1 the third number being 0 which is different so this will become 0 so we are basically trying to convert all the relative numbers into the same number and after this I will have to find the frequency of the numbers that means frequency of the same numbers how do i do that while converting this string i can take a hash map kv pair where i will be inserting all these strings let's say when i created 110 then i will insert 110 string and i will say that it has occurred one time again 111 so 111 has occurred one time again i see a 110 110 is already present so i will increment its frequency now from this hash map whichever key has the highest frequency uh, with the highest frequency will give me the maximum number of equal rows after certain number of conversion because uh, there are two number of relatively equal rows and that is why you can create two equal rows at the same time so i hope this concept is entirely clear we are traversing the entire matrix exactly one time so that is why the time complexity is order of mn and we are taking space complexity order of mn because each of the numbers are being saved in the form of the string okay 
So let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this case we are given the matrix and we will be taking the relative frequency uh, map where the key will be the relative string and the and the value will be actually the frequency of how many times this re, uh, re same relative number has been seen. So I'll be going each row one after another. I will be taking the first bit into the number first and I will be trying to create a string. So I will be iterating on the entire row one by one. Let's say this row is 0, 0, 001. So my first will be equals to 0. Okay, so if I go element by element and if the current element here is matching with the first then I will append a 0 otherwise I will append a 1. So in this case the 0, 0, 001 will remain as 0, 0, 001. In the theory part I had made this as 1 and I had made this as 0. So in both way you can do it's it's completely fine and if you look at the relative frequency I'm just inserting the generated string into the map and I'm incrementing its frequency. After that I will be iterating through the map and finding out the maximum frequency and that will be our result. So I hope this problem was clear. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.